Okay then gang, so now we know how to make a live wire component and we've also seen how to make public properties on that component which we can use within the component view. In this lesson I want to talk about component actions which are just public functions defined in this component class which we can then invoke directly from inside the component view. For example, I could make another public property up here called count and I could set that to be zero to begin with. Then in the view file for this component, I want to output that count value somewhere below the header. I'll do that by making a div tag below the header and then a paragraph tag inside that where I can say count and then a colon. And then I'm going to use curly braces to output the count variable. So when we load this page in the browser now, we'd see zero right here because that's the value we assign to the count property. But what if I want the user to be able to increase this value, for example, by clicking on a button? And when they do that, they should see that update in the browser in pretty much real time. Well, we can do that pretty easily in Livewire. First, we need to make an action or a function inside the component class, which updates the count property. So let's do that. Let's make a new public function. And I'm going to call this function increments. And then inside this function, we want to add one to the current count value, right? To do that, we can just say dollar sign this to reference the class and then access the count property on the class. And we'll set that plus equal to one, meaning we just want to add one to whatever the current value of count is. So now we've created a component action, which updates a component property. Next, we need to call this action from the view when a user clicks on a button. And we can do that. We can call any public action defined in the component directly from within the view for that component. So let's head back to the book list view and we're going to add a button tag just below the count value. And inside this value, I'll add a plus sign followed by a one to let the user know if they click on this button, we're going to add one to the count. Now, how do we hook up a click event from this button to an action defined in the component class? Well, it's pretty simple. We just say wire then a colon and then the event name which in this case is a click event and we set that equal to an action name so the action we want to invoke is the one called increment which we just created so we can just reference that action name right here and now when a user clicks this button in the browser it's going to send a request to the server to invoke this increment action which then adds one to the count value so then we can see the initial count value right here is zero, but when we click on this button now, that increases to one. And if we keep on clicking it, the count goes up by one each time. Awesome. So this is working and we're seeing the value update in the browser in pretty much real time. But how is it working? What's going on in the background? Well, every time we click this button, Livewire is detecting that click and it knows that we want to invoke the increment action. So it sends a request from the browser to the server to call the action. And that action runs on the server, which increases the count value by one. And then that updated value gets sent back to us within a freshly rendered version of the component template. And this happens because every time a component action runs or a component property changes, the components render method reruns to re-render the component template. So we get that re-rendered template back to the browser as a response from the server and Livewire compares that newly rendered template with the current one in the browser and it dynamically updates the content in the browser only where it detects a change in the template and it needs to make that update. In this case, that would be the section where we output the count value. So I'm going to demo this by right clicking where the count value is and inspecting it in the dev tools. All right. So we can see a paragraph tag at the moment over here with the current count value inside it. Now, when I click on the button, we're going to see a split second later, a flash in the document over here where the content update occurs. And that's just confined to the paragraph tag, right? Nowhere else on the page is getting updated. So Livewire is clever enough to figure out which part of the template needs updating. And it does that surgically, leaving the rest of the template alone. Now we can also accept arguments into these actions right here. So for example, I could accept one, which would be a number. So I'll do dollar sign number here, or it could be called amount. And then we could increase it by whatever that number is. So instead of plus equals to one, it should be plus equal number. So if we pass in three, increases it by three each time we click it. If we pass in five, it increases it by five, etc. 
So what I could do is come over here and instead of just calling it as is, it now expects an argument. So I'm going to pass in one like so because we're saying increase the count by one here. Now I'm also going to duplicate this and say plus two down here, but this time pass in two. So now if we click on the top button, it should increase the count by one. If we click on the bottom button, it should increase the count by two because we accept that argument right here and increase it by that amount. And now if we click on this button, we can see the count goes up by one at a time. If we click on this one, it's going up by two at a time. Awesome. All right, so now we've seen how to react to user events in the browser, but this current example isn't really very useful. I don't think many websites are going to randomly add an interactive counter on their homepage that you can click a button for and just increase the number. So let's do something a little bit more real world. What I'm going to do is delete the counter first off and then also delete the increment action and the count property in the component class because we're not gonna need those anymore. And instead, I wanna add a button to each book that gets rendered, which when we click, it deletes that book from the database, all right? So let's add that button first of all inside the template for each book. And for the text inside the button, we're just gonna say delete. Now, I also need to add a click event handler to this button just like we did before by saying wire, then a colon, and then click. And then we can set that equal to whatever action that we want to call. So let's go and make an action in the component class above the render function by saying public function, and I'm going to call this one delete. Now we'll be taking as an argument the book that we want to delete. So we can say book, which is the type, capital B, and then dollar sign book. Then we can take that book instance and we're going to use the delete method directly on it, which deletes this from the database. This is all standard Laravel and eloquent stuff right here. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, I would highly recommend you check out the Laravel 11 beginners course, first of all. Anyway, now we need to call this action when a user clicks on the button and also pass this book argument in as well. And actually, we can just pass in the ID of the book as an argument and Livewire uses model binding to adapt the ID into the book instance with the ID automatically for us. So over in the template, we can invoke this delete action and we're gonna pass in the book ID as an argument by using double curly braces because the ID is a dynamic value which changes for each book, right? And uh, yeah, then we're passing this into the function. So now when a user clicks on a button, it sends a request to the server to call the delete action, which then deletes that book from the database. Also remember, when we invoke an action, the render function also gets run directly after it. So we re-render the component template using the updated books value, which should now be one book less because we just deleted one. And therefore in the browser, Livewire detects that change and updates the DOM by removing the deleted book. All right, so let's give this a whirl. We can see these delete buttons right here and I'm gonna delete this one over here. So watch this, delete, and yep, it goes, awesome. We can come down to the bottom, let's delete this one. And yep, that's gone as well. So this is all working. And this is how we use actions now to run logic on the server for that component. And in response, we can re-render the template to update the view to reflect that change in data.